Hi friends, welcome to the day. Today I'm kind of nervous because I'm getting my mammogram today. Never had one before and I'm nervous and I haven't let myself kind of think about it until like today. And so I have been trying to like distract myself by cleaning the house, vacuuming the floors, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen, just distracting myself, but also because I have book club tonight. So I'm trying to just like keep things going along. <laughs> and not thinking about it, now I'm gonna go to Target so I can continue to not think about it for another hour and a half until my appointment. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'll talk about it more in a minute. Lightning strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning Just finished the Target. I'm actually texting with Lydia right now. She caught a spelling error on my video today. Anyway, she's chatting with me about going to my mammogram. So I thought I would chat with you guys here about it for a second while I kind of wait. I think the window cracked open. Hang on. It's like sunny. See my sweatshirt? Here comes the sun. It brought the sunshine. Okay, now I gotta turn that off. I might be a little self-conscious talking here with the windows open, but it's okay. We need some fresh air. So, headed to my mammogram today. Never had one. Supposed to get one three years ago. Probably technically four years ago, but I was due for a regular checkup for OB like three years ago, so I was like, I'll just wait a year and do it then. And I didn't. I kind of got scared and chickened out and didn't want results before I trip to Hawaii. Seems like it keeps happening that way. But I knew I couldn't like hold off on it. But I scheduled this appointment or I started the process to reschedule this appointment back in September of last year. COVID shut down like any chance of getting it. So I didn't worry about it for that two year period. But I started this process back in September. It is now March, almost April, and I'm just now going. So just to give you some tips if you haven't gone before. Most of my demographic is over the age of 44. <laughs> but just in case you're new here and you're seeing this video because you need to start going in yourself, you do not need to see a doctor before you schedule your mammogram. That is false. If they tell you you need to see your, your OB or a midwife before you go and get a referral for a mammogram, that is not true for your first appointment nor any after. You just have to schedule it with your imaging department. That's it. So that's number one. Number two, I'm not nervous for the actual physical exam. If you are n not new here, you know that I volunteer. There's someone talking pretty loud outside. Roll that up. Come on, go up. You know that I'm not new to having the ladies manhandled with a ultrasound wand. <laughs> That's not new to me and I also have had four children and nurses in the hospital just take charge of your chest. It is a thing. I'm not worried about that. I'm literally just worried about the result. I'm not, there is breast cancer in my family, but my grandma is the only one two generations back that has had it. And she didn't even get it until her late nineties. And even then we didn't know about it. And my grandpa didn't tell us about it until she was about to pass away. They were kind of very private people. So I don't really even know very much about it. I don't know when she was diagnosed. I don't know if she did treatment. Like I don't know anything about it. So there's some family history. Plus we're just large, dense women on both sides of my family. Both sides of my family, all the women are that way. It's just a thing. So when you are with denser material, then you have a higher chance, I think. But I do know there's nothing on my right side. I do know that because I've had so many ultrasounds now. I do have a lipoma that is um, right down in here. <laughs> right in here. I could probably like tell them where they could find it because we have discovered that through my volunteer scans before. But that is a malignant non-tumor cancer anything. It's just a cyst I guess I don't know what it is but I haven't had my left side and like in a really long time for whatever reason they like the lipoma on this side and the chest and the thyroid nodes on this side when I go and do the scan so they just haven't gone to the other side so I don't know if there's anything I have had it felt from the midwife at my last OB appointment she doesn't feel like there's any hard lumps to be worried about but that's why you go to the mammogram to get the full test 
so I am you know I'm just nervous and I think I just don't ever want to for whatever reason the timing of me scheduling these appointments always happens right before we go on a trip to Hawaii I think about it at the beginning of the year you know you start fresh on insurance and deductibles and all that kind of stuff and okay I should schedule my appointments and then I get nervous about getting results right before a trip which is exactly the case here and I don't want it to ruin my psyche going on a trip you know what I mean so that's why I've always been nervous about it but we're gonna do it and we're gonna deal with the results either way I will say this ahead of time just in case we have to go down this route um, and Jason and I I'll get you a little bit closer uh, and shut the window Jason and I have discussed this uh, many times before so if there's any chance of cancer in either side if the doctor will allow me I will have a double mastectomy we have a friend who had cancer on one side and had it had a, a single mastectomy and then chemo treatment um, on that side and then five years later had cancer on the other side and had to have that one removed and I don't know exactly how insurance works I don't know if if you only find it on one side you can only have one removed I don't know how all that works but Jason and I have decided we would not like we saw our friend go through it a second time and we're like this is ridiculous why should women have to like make that choice so I'm like oh I just have to like play Russian roulette on the other side and, and instead of just removing it Anyway, Jason and I have decided to have a double mastectomy for myself if I have cancer, if we can. If we can't, and it, I don't know if it becomes out of pocket, we might dip into retirement and have a breast surgery done and just have it removed anyway. It's not worth it and I don't need to... <laughs> So here's another thing. We're just chatting. This is all this video is about, by the way. Aside from my like deflection of not wanting to talk about it and going to Target. If I have one removed, right? If I have one chest removed because there's cancer in it and then I have to go through the chemo, whatever. Then they need to remodel that side to match my other one. I don't want to match my other one in any way, shape, or form. Quite literally, I do not. I want them gone. I want them reduced. I want them smaller and perkier. There's no way I would ever have like an implant or a fake bra to match my other side. I would not do that. I don't like my size. I don't like them being large. I don't like them whatsoever. There's probably a cat in a hat for adults that we could come up with for that. But like, <sighs> so if we had to have breast reduction surgery on this side and then match it with the insurance paid reconstructive surgery on the left side, then we would do that because I don't want my size. So it's it, redundant to try and match that if only one can get removed. As you can tell, I think about this often. I think about this process and what the results could be and you know, all that kind of stuff. I've had a lot of friends who have had breast cancer. Um, a couple from high school and then just a couple from living here in Seattle. I have another friend um, who cousin to a friend who had breast cancer and has very high um, rates of breast cancer in their family, their cousins. One lives here and then my friend from high school lives back at home, grew up back where I live. And the friend that lives here that I met went ahead and got her, get the, got the BRCA testing for the BRCA gene for breast cancer, found out she does in fact have it and had a mastectomy herself because and she didn't even find out if she had cancer or not. She just knew she had the gene for it and she just, okay, they're gone, done. I wish I had, I don't know, had the time or money to be able to do that. I don't know what it entails. This scan will be a tell if I have it now. So as you can tell, I'm just kind of chatting to kind of avoid going, but I'm getting kind of hot sitting here in the sun. I have a little bit of time. What time is it? Yeah. I'm going to go get a drink. I have my water. Maybe I should just drink water. I'll drink water. Beverage will be my reward. It'll be my reward after we're done. Also, I have book club tonight, and for the first time, we're hosting it at my house in two years since the pandemic began. We've only had it in person one other, two other times, one other time, and but I, I didn't host it. So I suddenly realized today, I'm like, oh, I gotta like put something on that table tray. I need to put something on that corner tray besides like old peppermint candy canes from Christmas. Yes, I did find that. Let's go do this exam. I will film all the way up until these come out and then you're not gonna get to come along and then I'll be back with you as soon as we're done. Okay, okay, thank you. Hey baby, has it been the same all morning or is it just getting worse just now? I have my appointment in 20 minutes, honey. I don't know what to do because I don't even know. And you tried to go to the bathroom? Came to school or came to call? Can I, can I have you sit it out for an hour while I go to this appointment and then I will come and get you? I don't know, maybe an hour?
there's a guy next to me sitting in his car eating his lunch. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep you down here for a second. Everything went well. This is awkward. This is an ugly pose. Let's see if I can put you up here. All right, maybe you can't see the camera. If you can, it's fine. Everything went well. The funny thing is, I walk back around the corner and you know they call my name, Dana Brown, you're next, or whatever. And then I go around the corner and she's like, oh, like the Dana Brown. And I was like, I mean, if you want to call me the Dana Brown, the Dana Brown, then you can. And I went around the corner and I was like, oh. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I know her. Uh, she's a mom of one of Abby's friends. It's a little awkward. She's like, I can get an, I can get another tech. I can. And I was like, it's all boobs. It's like, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I could get you next time. I could, you know. So you're good at what you do. It doesn't matter to me. So she went ahead and did the exam. I've known for a long time that she, this is what she does. That she works here. So I don't know why it didn't occur to me that she could have been the one to do the exam. But... <laughs> It is what it is at this point. I don't know, I guess we just need to not be so embarrassed about this kind of stuff. I think it's just why it's so taboo to talk about, but it doesn't need to be. It hurts, it kind of hurts and pulls and you have to like hold your breath and I didn't know about holding your breath. Also didn't know that you need to wipe off your deodorant, which is fine. It's gonna smell a little fresh when we head home here. <laughs> but yeah, you just, you have to take off your deodorant and wipe it off with little hand wipes because it can show up as calcification on the skin. So that was interesting, did not know that, but she said I have about an 8% chance, come on dude, decide to go, an 8% chance of a callback if this was not my first visit. So I have about a 15% chance of a callback just because they don't have anything to compare it to from a previous visit, previous scan. And so she's like, we couldn't need you to come back in but it's not because we see something, it's because we need a bigger picture. We need more detail, we need to put you in different equipment, we need to do an ultrasound to kind of get a deeper look. What, what was it that the scan person, oh the depth of field on this one is deep. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> anyway, or the meat. The meat, meat on this one is very tender. <laughs> that was another one that they said during one of my scans. Um, so, she said that doesn't mean that we see cancer or a lump or anything questionable. It's just that we need to take a deeper look. And those appointments, they would have an actual radiologist on in on site to look at the results. And I would not leave until I actually knew the results and had talked to the radiologist in person, like at that appointment. It's a 90 minute appointment. This one is supposed to be a 20 minute appointment and we're, we're about 10 minutes away from an hour. So. <laughs> It is, I had to wait quite a bit, so it is what it is. But the actual appointment itself really truly was only about 20 minutes. But, so I'm hopeful. Oh, it smells really good. I was out. Anyway, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm, I'm squirrel momenting because I'm, I'm done with this and I'm headed at home. And actually I'm headed to get Ashley from school. I didn't really clarify that. Anyway, in order to keep her in school for me to be able to get to this appointment, I promised her I would come pick her up but we're gonna have a big conversation about vegetables because it's been five days since she hasn't had vegetables and clearly we need to eat vegetables. So that's all I'll say. She did great in her week of eating vegetables and got her reward and now she thinks she's off scot-free. But thank you for all your comments today and um, I will go home and fix the spelling error on choices. Yes, I now know that I spelled it wrong on the entire thumbnail. That's gonna be, take me about two hours to edit. <laughs> it's fantastic. I need to be in a different lane. I need to put this down. I'm excited to be done. We'll chat a little bit more later today. Okay, Mr. Man just got home. Mr. Man. <laughs> and just about an hour ago, I got an alert from my, my chart online. I don't know what the results are, and I it's not a definitive um, from the results, I guess. Um, they could ask me to come in, and that may not be in my results. I don't it's know. It's not definitive, what is it then? Well, it, okay, the so I already explained it? it to them. Yeah, the radiologist has looked at it in order to give this result, but if they need to look in more detail with another type of exam, 
plus an ultrasound, they'll have me come back in, but that's not necessarily that there's Only something there. Only if they there. find something that's concerning. Or that, that they just... do more tests. Right. Okay. Can I do it after I'm done with this? Say hi. Hi. Yes, but let me just finish I'll this. I'll do your hair in a second. I'll do a braid. I'll do a braid. Okay. Hang on. Still have to be a mom, even when we're dealing with this. All right. So, let me see what these... Oh, that's for the appointment. Come on. Where's my results? Messages? Messages? No. All right, pulling up. Is this the first time you've looked at it? Yeah, I wanted to like make sure I, right, I do here. Like Details not available. No, come on, <laughs> don't do that to me. Okay, so no, this is your <laughs> the breast look, the breasts are almost entirely fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what breasts are? Breast density, yeah. Is I didn't know that they're made up of muscles. <laughs> didn't know. Um, the right no. breast is no mammographic features of malignancy are demonstrated left is the same right for assessment is negative and left is assessment for bi rads one right recommendation screening mammogram in one year sweet and left breast same clean boobs patient will be sent written notification of these exam results this exam will be re reviewed with the aid image checker so nice high five good news i guess and uh I mean, my doctor will send me a message probably on Monday or Tuesday um, and just clarify that, but pretty sure that means everything is fine. Yeah, everything in the clear. Or other tests or something. That's good. So yeah. not, I told you nothing to worry about. You don't even understand. If this was his nuts, he'd be like freaked Dude, out about it. I did have to go get my nuts ultrasound because they were... You didn't think you'd had cancer. You thought no. you knew they were twisted, dude. That's different. The Untwist. doctor told me go to the emergency room. You might lose your nut. No, you under and you go on surgery and you have them untwisted. You don't have chemo and lose a whole part no, of your you body. He said you could lose it. You don't just go to surgery. It's different, Men, women. It's different. I'm, I'm not saying you can't be worried about it. I'm just saying you're underplaying you my worry, though. Whatever. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. Okay. I'm gonna end this here. I'm glad they're negative. Um, if you guys, I am too. he's hungry. So I'm just gonna not get mad that he's walking away. Well, what are you doing? What do you want to do? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go finish the noodles. Okay, so I'm glad that it is negative. If that changes at all with the doctor, I will let you know, but I think we're in the clear. It, I don't know, like it, one, it should be talked about more and just be open about it. And two, um, it's okay to be worried about it. Like, I, it's okay that I had the, like the concerns I had this morning and I still have opportunity to be concerned for the next 40 years. My grandma wasn't diagnosed with breast cancer until she was in her 90. It's a valid thing to be worried about, but now that I've gotten checked, I will do it every year. <laughs> so now I'm off to braid her hair, apparently. French braids? No, just regular braids. I've got to get some stuff done before I have book club. Should we show them what we have out there for book club? It's very simple. I'm only hosting uh, um, minimal effort tonight because I'm editing and doing this and I didn't want my mind to be um, onto any cooking or anything like that. So this is the basics of my display tonight. Okay, this is the extent and I purposely left these cookies in the package with the sticker in place yeah. so that he didn't eat them. And I'll, I'll put these out literally like as they arrive because he will want to eat them. <laughs> No, you're not having, there's only eight of them, or ten of them, you're not having one. people are coming over? Probably eight or ten. You won't get an extra one, I, I promise you. Uh, and then I will fill this with some ice water, and then you saw me get this little candle at Target. It's like watermelon, kiwi, or cucumber. And as Abby said, it smells very fresh. So I will light that as well. And then Ashley is lining up my cups that I like to use. Just enough water, but not teeny tiny. I'm not a fancy kind of gal. I like my little mason jar cups. Um, so that's it. That's all I'm doing. And dad is helping you do dishes, which means you need to go and help him before I'll braid your hair. Yep. Say goodnight to everyone.